the day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Saturday, January 1, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Buffalo Sabres vs Boston Bruins. The Bruins are off to a promising start to the season, but hope the offense can step up, scoring only 2.69 goals per game. Brad Marquand, Patrice Bergeron, and David Pasternak have combined for 29 goals and 42 assists to lead the top line, but the rest of the forward unit has struggled. Only four skaters have six goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the top heavy offense as a result. Buffalo has struggled of late as they fell to 2-6-2 to in their last 10 games, after falling to the Islanders Thursday night. The Sabres are without coach Don Granado along with several key contributors. Their goaltending has been shaky, and their offensive attack has been mediocre. Boston has a tough team and they'll need to knock some rust off in order to get back to speed after not playing a game in a couple of weeks. On the plus side, the Bruins are expected to get Brad Marquand, Patrice Bergeron and company back in the mix for this contest. The Sabres are having a season to forget with the offense struggling immensely, scoring only 2.63 goals per game. Tage Thompson, Jeff Skinner, and Dylan Cozens have combined for 29 goals and 23 assists to lead the top two forward lines, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only five forwards have six goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the top heavy forward unit as a result. Our first betting advice is to pick Boston Bruins minus one. In their previous game against the Islanders more than two weeks ago, the Bruins were unable to get much going against the Islanders and went down in defeat. The opening period saw Boston outshot 10-8 and they trailed 1-0 after 20 minutes of play. In the second period, the Bruins held a 21-12 edge in shots on goal, only to be outscored 1-0 to trail 2-0 at the second intermission. The third period saw Boston with a 12-6 edge in shots, but each team scored once, leaving the Bruins on the wrong side of a two-goal margin as time expired. After giving up an empty net goal to trail 3-0, Mike Riley broke up the shutout with his third of the year at 1906 off assists from Brandon Carlo and Linus Allmark. Allmark made 25 saves for the Bruins, who held a 41-28 edge in shots on goal, in the loss. He's expected to get the start in goal for Boston in this contest. Our second betting advice is to pick under 5. Quick reminder, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Montreal Canadiens vs Florida Panthers. The Panthers are off to a great start to the season with the offense leading the way and scoring 3.74 goals per game. Anthony Duclair, Jonathan Huberdeau, and Alexander Barkov have combined for 34 goals and 45 assists to lead the top line, but the rest of the offense has stepped up as well. Sam Reinhardt, Sam Bennett, and Carter Verhig have combined for 26 goals and 37 assists, while defensemen Aaron Eckblad and Brandon Monter have added 13 goals and 25 assists from the point to put the offense over the top. This is a ridiculous mismatch. Not only are the Panthers way better than the Canadians, they are also home. On top of that, Montreal is dealing with tons of injuries and COVID cases and is severely shorthanded. In fact, the team has already postponed the next four home games after this as there has been a surge in COVID case in the province of Quebec. So the Canadians will just be looking to get home, rest up, and get healthy for a few more weeks before playing again. The Canadians are 1-5 in the last six meetings in Florida. Our first betting advice is to pick Florida minus one. The Panthers thoroughly beat down the force place lightning on Thursday 9-3. Anthony Duclair led Florida with two goals and an assist. Jonathan Huberdeau had a goal and four assists, while Frank Vitrano, Alexander Barkov, Anton Lundell, Aaron Ekblad, Edu Louis and Maxim Mamamal had goals. Spencer Knight had 39 saves. 
the Panthers are second in the league with 3.7 goals per game and 18th in goals allowed with 2.9 per game. Our second betting advice is to pick over six. Carolina Hurricanes vs Columbus Blue Jackets The offense has been great, but the defense is one of the best in the NHL, allowing only 2.07 goals per game. Jakob Slavin and Brady Skjay have combined for 4.5 defensive point shares and 75 blocked shots, while Anthony D'Angelo, Ethan Baer, and Ian Cole have combined for 5.1 defensive point shares and 74 blocked shots to add depth to the defense. Additionally, goaltender Antti Ranta is having a strong season in the net with a 919 save percentage and a 2.08 goals against average on 209 shots. The Blue Jackets have an impressive 5-0 to 1 record in their last six domestic contests. Still, it is pretty difficult to go against the Hurricanes at the moment. They have dropped just one of their past eight decisions, 7-1-0, and have been absolutely deadly when facing off against sides with a winning record, posting five victories on the most recent six occasions. Our first betting advice is to pick Carolina Hurricanes. After having no less than five games postponed, the Columbus Blue Jackets, 15-13-1, returned to action with a win, ending a two-game losing run, 0-2-0, following a 4-3 shootout victory against the Nashville Predators at Nationwide Arena on Thursday. Playing for the first time since December 16, the Jackets tied the game at 3-3, with six and a half minutes remaining in regulation, as Alexander Texier, 10 goals, 17 points this year, buried the equalizer before netting one of two Columbus strikes of the skills competition. Gustav Nyquist, 5 goals, 11 points, scored the winner in the fifth round of the shootout, while Boone Jenner, 12 goals, 20 points, and Patrick Lane, 4 goals, 11 points, both tallied in regular time. The Carolina Hurricanes, 22-7-1, recorded their third straight victory after blanking the Montreal Canadiens with a count of 4-0 at PNC Arena on Thursday. Playing for the first time since December 18, the Canes buried three power play strikes and a shorty, as Tuvo Teravainen, 9 goals, 25 points this year, picked up two markers, while Sebastian Ajo, 15 goals, 34 points, recorded his sixth straight multi-point game after collecting a couple of helpers. Nino Nadereder, 9 goals, 16 points, and Seth Jarvis, 5 goals, 12 points, also lit the lamp for Carolina, which has won seven of its past eight fixtures, 7-1-0. The Blue Jackets are off to a promising start to the season, led by an offense that is scoring 3.17 goals per game. Boone Jenner and Alexander Texier have combined for 22 goals and 15 assists to lead the top line, but the rest of the forward unit has stepped up as well. Max Domi, Jack Roslavik and Gustav Nyquist have combined for 17 goals and 22 assists, while defensemen Zach Wierenski and Adam Bokvist have added 11 goals and 18 assists from the point to open up the offense. Our second betting advice is to pick over 